and that's a point. Malines did a double over them last season. That's another point of note. Maximus Davis is between the sticks. Uh, Jaheim Palmer, Sergini Frankson, Taraj Andrews, and Enrique Gordon from Falkland, who impressed uh, for a failing unit last season, has been drafted by Malines United this season. Javon Brown, Jeremy Nelson, Marvin Williams making his debut in the middle of the park alongside Rashawn Livingston, and they will play behind strikers uh, Tevin Scott. And as we mentioned so many times before, uh, their leading man, Jason Wright, who scored 14 goals last term. As far as Veer United is concerned, they'll have a 4-3-3 formation. Roger Williams is back between the sticks. They have uh, Steve Pinnock, Alvin Strawn, Donovan Clark, and Kemoy Phillips as the back four. So Jay Graham will hold that midfield and will give a, a free roll to Lamar Neal and Xavier Brown. Up top, Davian Pinnock on the left, formerly of Chapleton, and Ricardo Dennis uh, on the right. Usually he comes off the bench, but he starts the first game here for Vier United. Jason Dyer through the middle. Yeah, a lot of familiar faces. Well, as we take a look at the full-time highlights there, and this one hit the bar. Pinnock with the effort there, scutting inside on his right foot, and then... Uh, the, the woodwork was in the way, and then that effort was wide of the target, and Roger Williams, who would have more difficult circumstances. Neil with the header, saved by Davis, and then Williams was in some trouble there, Brown, Laying it back, and then the lofted ball inside the area, Livingston. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't really find the corner. And right with a wonderful turn there, and uh, could produce much from his left foot. And that was another big chance for Malines United. And Dennis making his way inside the area. That was a strong hand coming in from Davis. And then this free kick from Lamar Neal hitting the woodwork. And uh, they came close. They came so close. As uh, there's an opportunity. It's fired inside. Livingston with a wonderful hit for Jay Williams with a fabulous save and then this effort from Jason Wright going over the top, Livingston again involved, sent this one across, Flemings couldn't quite get there or Flemings is the one with the resulting effort after Thorne uh, Simpson couldn't get there initially as we take a look at the full time highlights, Malign and I with 22 shots eight on target, very nice, he was just Three shots on target from Veer, 18. 19 fouls committed by Veer, 15 by Malines United. Qu uh, quite a few yellow cards were shown in this one, five. And you'll see the possession, 52% in favor of Malines United. Roger, congrats on the Man of the Match award. I see you sporting a new hairstyle for the New Premier League, tell me about it. Well, it's just an instinct. We don't tell myself I'm going to start off with a new hairstyle, new design of my flavor, how I want it. Not necessarily the three points for you today, but still a point. How important was it for you to keep a clean sheet and this dangerous Malines attack keep them away? Well, I was planned for this game from overnight, dream about it, think about it. My first game against Malines, we don't tell myself I want to start off with a clean sheet and so, so, so done. How do you feel about the team's performance generally and what do you expect for this season for Vera United? Well, I feel confident about my team. I feel very pleased with my team performance, all that we just did not get the three points. But we're going to go to the training ground and just work on it because we have an aim to go to the top six, but it takes each game at a time. Keep doing well, Roger. Congrats on the man of the match. Enjoy the hairstyle. We certainly are. Thank you. Roger Williams there, man of the match. Goalkeeper for Vera United. New blonde top look. And Alex Thomas comes into frame. Alex, not necessarily the three points you would have wanted, but at the end of it, a point, would you think, fair result based on the proceedings? 
fair, fair result enough, you know. Um, first game of the season, that's a good way to start, a one point half, you know, and then we move on to the next phase. Using Javon Brown in a more advanced role, we noticed this season, we thought that added something in terms of the middle of the park. Um, good link up play generally with the team, with, with, with Jason and company, but that cutting edge in the front line, not quite there today. Not, not quite there today and not quite that there as yet. You know, it's the early part of the season and we know we have a lot of work to be done. So, you know, we'll go back to the playing pitch to, to fix, fix everything. All right, we've talked about the top end. We know that Mullain is very expressive up front. One of the things last season you wanted to improve was those 48 goals you conceded. How do you feel now about keeping a clean sheet first game of the season? How did the defence line look to you? Not, uh, it's a blessing you know, to keep a, a clean sheet. Um, not only the defence line, but the overall team was set up defensively and organised and well done to the, to the team. All right, good performance today. We'll look forward to seeing what you come with in the coming weeks. Thank you very much. Alex Thomas there, head coach of Malines. Did the double over the very United team last season. This time just able to come away with a point. Well, Linval, you started with a draw last season. You start with a draw this season. Talk to me through this. These 90 minutes. Oh uh, well, a good 90 minutes for us. You know, I think we start really well. You know, you know, start an eye in the first half. Yet created some chances, and I uh, should uh, at least take one of them. You know, but so the nature of the game, and I love what I see from my my team, and hopefully, you know, we can continue on that trend. Yeah, on air we spoke about it as well that last season Veer didn't create a lot of opportunities. He only scored 15 goals. But this season it seemed a lot more innovative. You got the ball into wide areas. You had more players getting into the 18-yard box. You came closest in terms of scoring, but just couldn't find the back of the net. So that yeah. is promising. Yeah, well, that, yeah. So that's a, that's a plus for us. That's a plus for us because we've been working this season, getting numbers in inside of the box. You know, get great opportunity and score. You know, but today, you know, we, we're scoring boots never on. But you know, again, a work in progress, and and we really love what what we we see today, and you know, we can build on it and that. And of course, a Malines team that would have done the double over you last season to to even come away with some positive positivity is added things going forward. Talk to me as well about the resources in the team. How are you happy with the complement of the squad? Do you think that these, these, these players can get it done for you? Yes, you know, and we have and we have a few players again, you know, in the back door, you know, coming and, and of course, you know, the young stadium from schoolboy will be added will be a part team. of it soon. Part of the part of the troop and so on. So so we like the, the new cluster play that we we have this time and you know hopefully it can bring us a, a far away in the league. There's a smile on your face, there's positivity in your attitude. So we look forward to a growing Veer United. All the best, Linval. Congrats. Thank you very much, my brother. So Nil all here at the Anthony Sporting Sports Complex between Malines United and Veer United. Yeah.